So we're continuing our conversation with Bob Weissman, Agency Specialist, and we're talking about the power of digital and building a digital team. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Well, Mark, as we all know, digital has become a very large component of our clients' marketing, mm -hmm. okay? Or it needs to be integrated very effectively with their offline strategies as well. Remember, digital is, is a platform. It's right. not a be-all, end-all, but it is a tactic, a tool, uh, certainly something that every agency should be familiar with as they're talking with their clients because we know their clients are thinking that way as they go along. Right. Okay, so ultimately... Um, Every agency has to decide what the best way it is, is it to integrate digital into its overall mix. Mm -hmm. You know, do I hire for it? Do I partner for it? Do I contract for it? Right. Or do I go out and just go buy a digital agency? Yep, roll them up. Man. I'll roll them up any way you can. And needless to say, each of these strategies have pros and cons. So let's spend a minute and just talk about each one okay. real quickly. And of course, there's a lot to this. So if you're going to build your team internally, or you're going to, you know, you're basically going to hire for it, the first thing you need to understand is this will take time. And while it is very controllable, and it's probably the best most effective way to, to manage your money, it usually is going to require a lot more than one person mm -hmm. to make a difference. No one person is a rainmaker. So right. at the end of the day, people who you might hire would be people that you want to make, they will want to make sure you're committed to building a digital component to your business and that you're committed to hiring others, not just them. So think about right. this as a department, not just an individual. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next way to do this, of course, is Candidly, probably the most cost effective, which is contracting, because mm -hmm. ultimately you're not paying for somebody to do things in house. You're paying for the hours they spend on a billable basis. Right. Um, the challenge with contracting, of course, is your ability to control and manage the contractors. Mm -hmm. Okay. And are they communicating effectively with the rest of your team? Because they need to be integrated with your team. And unfortunately, oftentimes they will want to work outside of your agency as opposed to inside right. the agency. They're not totally integrated. I'm right. And, so. and so fundamentally, you have communication, integration, cultural issues that come involved with contracting. Uh, the next way to do this was really a way that we call, I call it the general contractor model, and that's partnering with specialists. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of digital specialists, whether they be an SEO, SEM company, whether they be a social media company, whether they be a mobile company, whether they be a web development company, who are specialists in what they've done. And, mm -hmm. they, you know, if you do this yourself, it's going to take a lot of time to build it. Right. It's already there. They're ready to execute. The challenge with partnering, as we all know, is who owns the relationship? Right. And then managing the margin. Mm -hmm. Do you have, is there enough margin in the business for both people right. to do this? Oftentimes, this is a good way to get started with digital because as you start to develop these partnerships, relationships, something may lead down the way, which leads us to the last way to do this is really through a flat out merger acquisition roll up strategy. Right. Okay. And in that strategy, of course, um, it requires money. It requires some sort of capital. And unfortunately, not unfortunately, but what we've seen more than anything else right now is ex equity swaps. Mm -hmm. There's nobody who seems to have a lot of cash that they're right. going to want to, they're going to want to put out. But most mergers, acquisitions fail. Mm -hmm. So typically we advise people to date before you marry. There you go. That's a good, you know, good par advice. Partner on some relationships. Yeah. Um, but it also requires you to be very well connected in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, do you belong to the associations? Are you going to the association meetings? Who do you know? That's how you'd start to build a relationship with somebody and where the M&A strategy, which is very quick, it's fast mm -hmm. and allows you to reposition yourself quickly. But it, you know, it's not without its lot risks. There you go. So lots of strategies to consider here, but all very important. And we also have additional segments on each of those areas that people can explore on your website, uh, where we've covered them in even more detail. So, but if you want to know how each of these strategies could apply to your agency, contact Bob Weissman, agency specialist. Well, thanks, Mark. Digital is really important. You got to think it through. Absolutely. <laughs>